I get files sent to me all the time from music artists or beat makers to mix and master the music and I absolutely love it. But on odd occasion, they will send me files that don't line up or there's some type of issue in the way that they've exported their files and sent them over. So if you're wondering how to export your files in Logic Pro X properly in the correct way to make your mix engineers life easier, then watch this video. What's going on? It's KC. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're good. Now that to export stems properly is going to make your life easier and the mix engineers life easier. Big shout out to my two new subscribers and the best comment for this week. Appreciate your support guys. So I've got this mix session here, mix I'm working on. I'm just going to pretend that this is the file the files that I'm trying to send off to a mix engineer. I'm just going to play to this mix I'm doing. Incredible artist. So if you're watching this video after this has been released, then there's gonna be a link in the description uh, for the track. So yeah, go check that out, support the artist. Back to the tutorial. All right, so we're gonna export these files, put them in a folder, and then send them off to your mix engineer. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure your locators are the full length of the mix, the track that you're trying to send. Then we're gonna to go to File, Export, All Tracks as Audio Files. Click on that. It's gonna open up a box of options. So the first thing I like to do is create a new folder. Name the folder, we're gonna call it so hi uh, YouTube export. Make sure you know where your folder's been saved or where your new folder is going to be located. Hit create. Then it's going to say range. We don't want to trim silence at, at file end. I, I never use that. So we want to export cycle range only. Format, wave, bit depth, 24 bits. Just leave it as is. You can bypass the effects plugins if you send it to the uh, mix engineer and you're not happy with how you've mixed it, your rough mix. Usually I like the artist to take off all the plugins unless they like the particular sound that they've got. And then it will say include volume and pan automation. Click that if, if that's something that you like it that you've done in your session. Normally leave that off. Overload protection. I normally like to turn this off. I know some people like to use normalize, but I don't. I don't want Logic to decide on where they should normalize my audio. I'm not saying that they don't do a good job, but I'd just rather not do that. So I'll turn it off. All the stuff down here, leave it, um, don't touch that. And then what you want to do is hit export. Let Logic do its thing. While we wait for Logic to do its thing, hit the subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all the new videos and stuff that I'll be putting out. And if you're liking this video so far, hit the like button. If for some reason you don't see all the options when you hit all tracks or audio files. If you don't see all these options, don't panic. Just go to preferences, general, and go to advanced, click on show advanced tools, and then you should be able to see all those different options. So we've done that, files are exported, they're in the folder, what do you do next? You wanna send them off to your mix engineer. Simple, easy. Find your folder, then we're gonna compress the folder. Go over to wetransfer.com while wow, that's compressing. I use wetransfer.com all the time, Arts, uh, any artist or beat maker that I work with. Wetransfer is my favorite. You can create a account there if you want. I have an account, it makes my life easier because once I've worked with an artist, then their email's always there. It's quite self-explanatory this, just put an email in for the mix engineer that you're sending it to, your email, so you know that they've downloaded it. <laughs> uh, pick a title, let's say YouTube. Export. Put your emails in, go to upload files. And we should have our compressed folder. Click on the compressed folder, the zip folder. That would be put into WeTransfer. And then boom, hit transfer. Job done. Nice, simple, and easy. Now you're ready and able and know how to export your files properly. So there are going to be no issues when you send it to your mix and mastering engineer. If you've got any questions, drop a comment below or hit me up on Insta. Always happy to help. And I'll see you in the next video. Appreciate your time.